ユキさんってあんたのお友達だったんだ。I wish. Not just a friend. After hearing the shocking news that Kagari song traced its roots all the way back to my mom, we went back to the lab. It would have been embarrassing to call my mom in front of、uh, Mayuri and Kagari. So I went up to the roof in the cold to call home. <laughs> oh, come on. You could have done it in front of Yuki as well. Fuck it, why not? Just absolutely kill yourself. When I asked my mom when, if she was going to a cooking class, she seemed surprised that I didn't know. So, God, I'm i d tell you every other week. God damn it, why don't you listen? So, no, I don't know where you get your laugh from, Okabe. ラジオで流れてたとか他の人が歌っているのを聞いたとかさ、はあ、あんただけど What? えあんたが前に歌ってたのよ What? なななななな,な,な,な何言ってんだよそんなわけないだろうほらあんたが中学生の頃まゆりちゃんが塞ぎ込んじゃった時期があったでしょみんな心配してたけどまゆりちゃんある日を境に元に戻ってくれて、本当よかったわ。でも、代わりにあんたがおかしくなっちゃったのよね。なんだっけ、蒸気のバッドサイレントテスト。man scientist。but anyways。やめて。<笑> was there anything in the world more terrifying than hearing about your own bad dark history from your mom。no。I'd kill myself. I'd jump off the building right then and there. Anta got some bad to none to any cabaret has met a coro. Ofro ni hide a binu tatetanoyo. Really? Sons and kitty ruchini, oh boy, chatawa. Orega Utat. So yo, oh boy, then I know. Oh, Jacksankita. Jane, I make a free soda cara. I have quite taken a sigh. Magical. <laughs> I am the creator of this song. I demand copyright on everyone. Everyone's fine. I explained that I heard it, I, what I'd heard from my mom, even though I don't really understand it myself. <laughs> Why were you asking about the song? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, they were so surprised. I was more surprised than anybody. I was so surprised that I, I was actually feeling pretty calm. Naruto. If we're back in literally square one, what did it mean? Kagari had learned the song from Mayuri、uh, in the future. Mayuri had learned in the present from Suza. Suza had learned it from, future,、uh, from Yuki in the future. Yuki had learned it from my mom. We don't get a sprite. And my mom learned it from me. Why not just give us a fright? Come on, now. Ore. Utan nante. Utate taka. Hmm. Mayushi mo boete nai na. If it was a popular song, maybe I would have hummed it, but. Dame da. Omoi da se nai. We probably got it from Mayuri. Mayuri looked like she was about to cry. Kagri gave her a gentle hug. Gave me a clue. I wouldn't say I was confused and lost. So I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. That was when Hoi and Kiyoma now see the way had been born. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of weird, but okay. Is that possible? I mean, that's kind of weird, but okay. So、I'm kind of confused how this really matters in the grand scheme of things. Mm, 
The sun was about to set, so we decided to go to the ne go the next day. Well, I mean, the thing that matters in the grand scheme of things is that Yuki sings. <laughs> and he helps teach a cooking class. That's the really important stuff. And Calgary's memory. Eh, eh, who cares? <laughs> The next day, the sky had been cloudy since morning. I met with Kagri and Mayuri at the spot near the cemetery where her grandmother was buried. <laughs> Fucking weathermen. And I never brought an umbrella when it wasn't isn't raining. In other words, nobody had an umbrella. I'm sure. So We finally arrived at the cemetery. The skies were getting darker and it felt like it could rain at any minute. We finished cleaning the grave, and each of us put our hands together in front of us, then Mayuri sat down and started talking to her grandma. Kagari and I watched her from a short distance away. それでね、かがりさんが驚いた顔で入ってきて、バターンって気絶しちゃったんだ。もうびっくりしたよ。マユシーはすっごく慌てちゃったし、すっごく心配だったんだけど。どうしてもバイトに行かなきゃいけなくて。だからオカリンとダル君にカガリさんのことお願いって言ってラボを出たの。でも本当は心配で心配で胸が張り切れそうだったんだよ。岡部さん、あの。Kagari whispered to me, concerned. Mayuri,のことなら気にしないでくれ。あれは儀式みたいなものなんだ。儀式？あ、マユリはおばあちゃんこでさ、そのおばあちゃんが亡くなった時には魂が抜けたみたいになってたんだ。半年くらい誰とも口を聞かずに毎日ここに来ては一日中ぼんやり立ってたまるで自分もおばあちゃんのところに行ければいいのにって祈っているように見えたそれを岡部さんが連れ戻したんですよねどどうしてそれを前寄さんから聞いちゃいましたあいつめいいじゃないですかかっこいいですよマットサイエンティストの法王院京馬さんやめてくれあの時は必死だったんだ後から思えば正解だったわけだけどやっぱり<笑> Um, I'd used every bit of knowledge I could scrap up from anime and video games to try and keep Mayuri's soul from leaving us. Hmm. 
とても素敵なお話だと思いますそうかなそうですよあっうん降ってきました I looked up just in time for a drop to fall on my cheek. A cold rain said it started to come down. We'd just gone here and hadn't done anything yet. I wanted to at least do a little research before we left. I'm going to go to the store. 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 I'm going to Jesus. The rain started to come down harder as we ran toward the station. Mari turned around and suddenly stopped. I stopped too. I looked back and saw that Ka Kagari wasn't keeping up with us. <laughs> She was standing some distance away with a blank look on her face. She was facing us, but seemed to be staring off into the distance. <laughs> what? Her voice was flat and emotionless. It was like she was a different person than the one that had been here there just a moment before. What happened? Mayuri started to walk towards Kagari. What? And suddenly, Kagari ran through the puddles of water and ran into the street. And hits by a truck. A truck was coming. Oh my god, I was kidding. Oh my god. Myri screamed, and my body moved on its own. I yanked Myri's shoulder down and knocked her to the ground so that she couldn't run on her own. And then I used that momentum to run into the street myself. ね。今みたいに空気が汚れていなかったから、みんな雨に濡れても気にしなかったんだよ。ママが鏡ちゃんくらいの年の頃はね。雨が降るのは楽しみだったんだ。オカリンと一緒に。お外を走り回ったの。
except for wait for the professor to come find her. Until then, until then, she waited to get wanted the rain to get wet in the rain. The rain kept falling for a long time. Her clothes got wet, but she didn't care. The rain in this era didn't sting when it landed on your skin. It was warm. For the first time, Kagari learned the nature that nature could do things other than hurt you. There was life in this rain. That's how it felt to her. The rain in this era was alive. It was totally different from the dead rain in the future. Kagari kept walking, enjoying the feeling of being surrounded by living rain. How long had she walked? When her legs finally started to get tired, she sat down at a bench with a roof over it. It was a trolley platform, and it was unar un <laughs> unmanned without even a single ticket, a t e ticket station. She sat there and looked it up at the sky. The rain was still falling. The dead rain sure didn't seem better than the living rain to Kagari, but there was one thing she was sure of: in the future, when where Mom Re was, the rain was dead. When she saw Mom again, the rain would be dead. She so she wasn't really mad at God. My God, that's God. A boy standing next to the bench. He was the same age as Kagari, or maybe a little younger. He was holding an umbrella, but the area below his knees were soaking wet. He must have been walking in the rain for a long time. Kagari said nothing as he sat down next to her. He looked tired and in pain. Bokumo. The boy talked to her in a voice that was a whisper. What he thought、uh, talked about, he he she couldn't remember. But he seemed to be in、uh, so much pain, as if he was carrying the weight of the whole world's sadness on his shoulders. Why did he talk to her when they'd never met before? Why had he decided to open up to Kagari? Strangely, it didn't bother her. She was the same. She was the same as he was. And strangely, she realized something. There were things in this world that she couldn't change. There were things in the world where all you could do was watch them slip through your fingers. You couldn't give up on them, but you had no choice but to give up. She felt that despair. Maybe the rain had brought the two of them together. There were so many but people in the world, and yet two of them had no, and、uh, <laughs> two of them had no one they could talk to. So maybe the rain had brought them together. The living rain, the warm rain, the gentle rain. Okarin to Mama, ne? Sono naka o yoku sakana na no. Like I can't imagine it would be Okabang because I, I imagine he'd remember it. Mommy had looked so happy when she said, told that story, but it sounded sad to Kagari, because the world was so big and it was just the two of them alone. It would be lonely and sad to have no one else there. That's what she thought, but now she understood how Mom felt just a little. Two fish alone in the world. But there was a different than that was different than being totally alone. No matter how what else, there was someone next to you who felt the same way. It was lonely, but she sure wasn't. She was sure it wasn't that lonely. That's what she felt at the bottom of the sea of living rain. <laughs> There was nothing Kagari could do for the boy, but she felt like he needed that song. The next thing she knew, the boy was gone. She shook off the professor's hand and ran into the street through the pouring rain. And then she saw a truck splashing up water from the puddles as it came barreling towards her. Oh, this is.
the same thing. Kagari <laughs> woke up and realized she was in a hospital bed. Mayuri was looking down with her eyes, swollen red, bright red. That's nice. Why the fuck did you run into a truck? Almost. Why is she in a hospital if it what didn't hit her? Oh. How didn't she get hit by the fucking truck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why did we come to the hospital? I'm surprised he didn't get injured. In a fit of emotion, Mayuri left on Kagari. Kagari finally understood everything. Now it was Calgary's turn to give Mayuri a big hug. She doesn't stop herself from calling, uh, talking like a little girl. All the last ten years vanished, and Kagari was once again the small child. Mama, the Kagari, the memory came back. Okari, Oji-san. Huh? Um, all of them. I was. Shina Mayuri no Musume Shina Kagari Dayo Tate Kagari sa Mayushi Yori to Shue Dayo Soreni Mayushi wa Sono Akacha Unari to Ka Stenaishi Mama
そうだよ私に生きる理由を与えてくれたのがママなのママはね私を危ない目に遭わせないために一番安全なところに逃がしてくれた安全なところ過去だよママが幼かった頃のまだ平和だった日本でなら安全に暮らせるだろうって、はあ、でもやっぱり寂しかったここにはママがいないんだものどんな安全な場所でもママと離れ離れになるんじゃ意味なんてないもんママ会いたかったよ Kagari clung to Mayuri on the soft bed and cried for a long time At first, Mayuri was confused, confused, but she finally, eventually hugged her back gently. Kagari-chan. Mama! Um, sorry. Sorry. ごめんね。